Hey guys, just Aaron and Chris here from Ultra RC Hobbies. This is going to be our inaugural episode. Uh, we're going to be doing it probably every Friday around 7 o'clock and it's going to be on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, and we're going to have some cool things going on, whether it's racing, uh, maintenance tips. We're also going to be showing uh, what we're working on, personal builds. We're also going to put some customer builds in there. Uh, we're also going to be trying to do something neat every week. We're not going to be really lame, uh, except for him. Yeah, uh, always links. <laughs> we're gonna try and keep it cool and interesting and fun, as well as uh, be pretty information uh, based with what we're doing. Anything else you want to add? It's gonna be excellent. Be ready for it. So today I'm gonna give you a little build breakdown on my Yeti. We're only gonna show you half the video because it's a pretty long video, and you gotta tune in next week to find more. more. Hey guys, how's it going today? Chris from Ultra RC Hobbies here. Uh, I'm gonna give you a quick run through on my Axial Yeti. Nice little build breakdown. Uh, I've had this truck for two, two and a half years now. I got a bone stock and uh, ever since I've just been absolutely loving the vehicle. So I figured I would give you a nice little run through on it and let you know what all I've got done to it. So it's got the retro Yeti score body on it from Axial. Got that painted up myself. Got the interior. So, we'll start at the front end here. Uh, for my front mount, I've got a Vanquish front mount aluminum. Nice and strong, as you can tell it's taken some hits. Um, my lower control arms are from RPM, and I've also got them drilled out with some rod for the screws to go in to add more support. I've got uh, hot racing knuckles on both sides, aluminum as well paired with some Vanquish heavy duty CV axle shafts and then I've got a set of G-Made XD shocks with the reservoir super nice shock, really plush they're sitting on a uh, the Vanquish shock extender so that's been really nice, really makes the truck handle a lot nicer, suspension floats a lot more and then for my links, my steering links and my camber links they're stainless steel links from Incision which is a Vanquish company so they've been really tough, they've been doing really well. And then, my steering rack, and my crank, my bell crank posts, and my bell cranks are all aluminum from Vanquish. I'm still running the stock front drive shaft, that's about, about it for stock parts. So that was the front end of the Eddy. Tune in next week to see all the electronics I've got in there. Now Aaron's got something going on over here. For all you Cow RC users, Filling up your Utter Butter syringe can be a messy nightmare. We have found the best way and cleanest way to fill up your Cow RC syringe, and that is up next. Hey guys, just Aaron here from Ultra RC. Um, today I want to show you a clean, quick, and easy way to refill your Cow RC Utter Butter syringe. Uh, we use this stuff on pretty much every one of our personal builds, uh, as well as all our customers' trucks, and this stuff is awesome. So what we'll need today to fill up our syringe is going to be some scissors, plastic spoon, uh, just because I don't think a metal spoon is going to work the best, a uh, Ziploc bag, uh, and you're also going to need a two or four ounce jar of regular Utter Butter. So what we need to do is uh, we need to use the spoon to put the grease into the bag. And you want to pick a corner, whether it's the left or right corner, it doesn't really matter what corner, uh, but just grab a good spoonful, put it right to the bottom. You want to grab it in the corner, pull it off. Two spoons will probably be more than enough to refill it. Um, I recommend not overfilling it because then it's really, really hard to try and get the grease down the syringe. So we'll put that over there. So we'll just three quarters of the way close the bag just so there's air in there. And just like a cake piping bag, so I'm going to put it right down into the corner and just work it all the way down. like so. So the biggest thing with the syringe that we find is when you pull the plunger out uh, there's gonna be some crusty grease on there so I'm take a paper towel just give it a good wipe clean all that stuff off and it's always a good idea just to put a little bit of grease on there just so I can move in the plunger freely and it won't get seized so whatever's left on the plunger you can just take and wipe off 
give it a quick little coating. It doesn't need to be too much. So when we get this uh, syringe all full of grease again, we're pretty much good to go and we can just slap the plunger back in. So put that to the side because you will get your mat greasy or whatever you're working on. So now what we want to do is just cut the corner of the bag. I'm going to take the syringe now uh, and just put all the grease in there like so. I'm going to work it back down again. And like I said before, I personally don't like filling my syringe up too much. Um, so you can always test fit it and just see how much grease you have in there. So this is pretty much the way I like to keep mine. Uh, only about, you know, half full or so. Just so it's a little bit easier to get in there. You don't need honestly much of this stuff. Uh, it goes a super long way. Um, but if you want to fill more, obviously, uh, that's up to you. But that is the cleanest and easiest way we ever found to fill your cow RC utter butter syringes. Thanks for watching, guys. Chris, are you seriously using that spoon to eat that pudding? I just filled the cow RC utter butter syringe with that. Oh, I thought it tasted extra special. Oh, uh, that's gross. Mm. So that was the best way to fill your cow RC utter butter tube. Now, Aaron's got some cool tools to show you. Yeah, so in my toolbox, uh, the first thing is we're going to cover the J Concepts 5.5mm uh, and 7mm thumb driver. The best part about this tool is, especially when you're dealing in really tight situations, you can take off your 3 and 4mm nuts with ease, uh, and you don't have to get a really long uh, driver in there to take it off. So this is probably one of the best tools I have for doing uh, small, really tight spots for 3 and 4mm nuts. So this is the J Concepts uh, thumb driver. Fits in your pocket too. Very good point. It's easy to carry around. Yes. Next up is this is probably the best and most used tool in my toolbox. Uh, this is the Techno aluminum pivot ball and shock shaft pliers tool. So how many times have you ever tried to take your rod end off your shock uh, and you score up the shaft? Now you're going through O-rings and it's just a mess. The Techno tool actually allows you to grab the shock shaft without scoring it since it is going to be aluminum and makes it super easy to thread on your rod end there at the bottom. And now the nice thing is you can thread your rod end on and you're also not scoring up that shaft. So now you're not going through O-rings and spending extra cash when you don't have to. The other really cool advantage to this tool is it also will pop out your rod end pivot balls. So how many times have you wrecked a rod end and a pivot ball trying to grab it with a pair of pliers, make a mess out of it. Now it's super tight, bound up, uh, doesn't move free anymore. This is probably the best and easiest tool. No more blood, no more anything like that. You can just pop the bowl in, clean right out of it. Now Somewhere it's there. on the floor. Yeah, now it's on the floor, um, but it's super easy. Uh, probably one of the best tools I have uh, in my toolbox by far. And super easy to install. <laughs> Thanks, <Take> buddy. <laughs> just pop it into the tool here, like so. Put your rod end on, drop the top. Squeeze. And there you go, that's simple. So these are by far the two best tools that I use all the time in my toolbox, bar none. Well, I guess that's a show. That, that'll do. That was uh, pretty quick. Remember, tune in to us next week. Again, we're gonna probably do it Friday around seven o'clock. Uh, you can see Chris and I uh, doing some cool things with RC cars, tools. Uh, there's also gonna be some running videos in there. Uh, we'll also have some customers on here showing off their builds, what we're working on in the back in the shop. Uh, we're going to keep it fun and entertaining, so tune in again next week. Thanks, guys. See you later. Now Aaron's got something going on. No, wait, I was supposed to do... You, gotta, you want to tune in and see the rest of it? No, yeah. Tune in next week to see the rest of it.